Ladies and gentlemen, the American jury and Bulldog Nation, the media of the American Communist 10 is obsessed with January 6th only because it's anti-Trump. You have to be some kind of a moron and not realize that Nancy Pelosi appointing Trump-hating Republicans only to the committee, uh, the fix is in. But here is what is remarkable about this. We all know now, we know that within a week or sooner or, or, or later, before January 6th, they knew. The FBI knew. Nancy Pelosi knew. They knew something was brewing and they didn't do a damn thing for security. Think about that. Nancy Pelosi should be tried for treason. The Speaker of the House is in control of security for the Capitol, and she didn't do a damn thing. Unfreaking believable. And they want to try to blame Trump? Nope. Sorry, Nancy, it's on you. Jack Wagon of the decade. Jack Wagon? She could be Jack Wagon of the decade. Uh, Donald Trump's funny. He came out and he said that LeBron maybe should go transgender. <laughs> He knows how to get under people's skins. Uh, Trump endorsed Attorney General of Texas running for re-election, Paxton, over Georgie Bushy, second, third generation, the Bush family in Texas. And you watch, Paxton will now win the power of Trump. I mean, isn't it great? Paybacks are hell. He knocked out Jebby Boy. Now he's going to knock out Georgie Poo. Governor Abbott, he's endorsed Governor Abbott. Abbott has got a landslide lead in the polls over Allen West. I like Allen West. He became chairman of the Texas Republican Party, and then he runs for governor. I, I don't know what he's doing here. Maybe he's setting himself up for the next run, but I, I didn't understand why Allen West was running against Abbott. Abbott's done a great job. The Democratic mayors, it's been reported, the Democratic mayors in all these big cities who said to fund the police are spending tens of thousands of taxpayer dollars for their own security. It's incredible. Hypocrisy knows no bounds with the American Communist 10. There is a, the, the Black Lives Matter gang are sending out letters to white Dallas residents asking them to take a pledge that they won't send their white privileged kid to an Ivy League school to keep open a slot for a black child. What's my line? You can't make it up. What do I say every day? You think, well, I mean, I can tell you, if I went back in time, like in the 80s and 90s, there's no way I could do a show with this many topics. It'd be impossible. It'd be like one. <laughs> Minnesota fourth graders are given an equity test and then told by their teachers not to tell their parents about it. One little fourth grade girl squealed, good for her. You've been it's awarded Oracle status. Today. Shooting every 12 minutes in this country, setting a record, a shooting every 12 minutes. And guess what, folks? Those shootings aren't coming from NRA members. They're coming from crooks and criminals. Plain and simple, it's a form of terrorism. 90% of Detroit residents want more police. 90%. I like Chief Craig's chances against Whitmer, don't you? Wow. He's the Republican. He's going to run against Whitmer in Michigan for governor. Just think what he'll do in Detroit where the Democrats are. 90% want more police. Sad. Biden cancels Trump had an executive order focusing on terrorism, terrorists coming in this country, Biden cancels it. What's the logic of that? You know, Joe Biden doesn't give a damn what Trump did. I'll, we gotta cancel that. Hunter Biden's art dealer said he wanted to be the lead in China business dealings relative to the art from China. And by the way, Hunter is now living in Malibu in a big old house that he's renting out where he's hanging out. I guess there's more Chinese uh, artists there that he can sell his art to. 81% <laughs> are 
are in this country are worried about the Chinese influence. I don't know what the 19% are thinking, but at least it's 81%. When you get in the 80s, it's a pretty good poll number, don't you think? ICE has nailed 300 illegal immigrants who are sex offenders recently. 300 of them. Now, what you always need to remember, that's who they caught. Think of all the ones they don't catch. Sick, pouring into this country. Joe Biden wants to restrict travel but he doesn't want to restrict people coming in through the border. Pretty crazy, isn't it? Veteran Affairs is the first federal agency that is requiring vaccinations to work there. Let's face it, the vax or else is spreading across the board. And I'm going to do a special show coming soon. I think it'll air on Saturday about vaccinations. It's going to be a pretty incredible show. A Tesla, you know, of all the techie corporate billionaires, isn't Elon Musk our favorite? Let me see. He told off California. He tells off Wall Street. He tells off the SEC. He marches to his own drum. You know, he's kind of level. Well, Tesla did a billion dollar profit in this quarter. Value of the company is now $630 billion. You know, everybody's getting into the electric car game, but the way I think Tesla's still a good bet is they've been doing it the longest probably do it the best. They got a brand, Tesla. I think there's a lot of loyalty there. Uh, homeschooling surge, does this shock you? With all the masks, with all the BS, with all the failure in the school system, homeschooling surging. Not to mention the fact, I'm sure a lot of uh, moms that have the time and the ability to do it well, figured, hey, I can do this. I'm gonna keep doing it. Liz Cheney's polling numbers only 20% plus favorable in Wyoming. Good luck, Liz, getting reelected. Again, she'll ride off. She'll get a CNN job. She'll be on The View. She'll get one of those jobs. Plus, remember, she's an heir to the Halliburton fortune. Uh, Jeff Bezos, he's offered NASA $2 billion for launching privileges because they're dealing with a Musk. So he wants some $2 billion to, to launch out of NASA. See what you can do when you have that amount of money? You can do bribes to government officials. Andrew Cuomo, the ultimate political gangster. He come out, Mr. Tough Guy. He says, we need to go door to door. We need to stick a needle in their arm. Mr. Tough Guy. Just think, that son of a gun survived, survived the scandal of New York political history. What he did in nursing homes. Saved. Justice Department, another political gangster, not going to investigate. France warned us, there's a report out that in 2015, yes, under the Obama-Biden years, that France warned the United States about what was going on at Wuhan. Hmm, I wonder what old Fauci said about that. Fauci's, gonna, Fauci's already been discovered as a fraud. Last but not least, the woman who wrote White Fragility is saying, like the family guy and other humor, is to allow racism. It's like a, a mild racism. It's a way to sneak in racism. I wonder if this woman has ever listened to a black comic. <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, funny black comics. I laugh at them. No, it's only the white guys. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. I hope today is yours.